Like any adaptation, the TV versions of A Song of Ice and Fire and Fire and Blood, Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, take certain liberties and make certain interpretations about the source material that are either a choice on the part of the adapters, or a necessity created by virtue of the shift from the written medium to the filmed one. But one of the strangest aspects of the TV versions of these written characters comes in the form of a fairly distinct and common racial coding with the accents of non-white characters in the series. This is a problem that has come to the forefront of fandom attention as a result of Sonoya Mizuno's performance as Mysaria on House of the Dragon. And while a significant amount of the criticism and scrutiny has been levied toward Mizuno's odd, heavy, and somewhat indistinct accent, it is actually interesting how much of an issue this is for the series at large. While Mizuno's accent as Mysaria is strange, the fact that she has it at all is even stranger. And it is only the currently most noticeable instance of this nearly constant problem for the Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon TV universe. Because although the main cast of the series is almost exclusively white, a significant portion of the non-white characters in the story are constantly portrayed with some form of non-native English-speaking accent. The first time this issue actually caught my attention personally was in Game of Thrones. Nearly everything related to Dorne that was portrayed in the series was understandably received in a negative light. But the terrible adaptation of the characters and the story itself seemed to mask this bizarre element of the Dornish character development. Because one of the strangest latent characteristics of the Martells and Dornish that might not be noticeable at first, but is then impossible to overlook once it is noticed, is their accents. It's not as if the line of thought behind these character choices was impossible to understand. Dorne in Westeros is meant to be vaguely analogous to Spain in the real world. Therefore, the fact that the Dornish seem to speak with ambiguously Spanish accents isn't that confusing. However, in contrast to the portrayal of nearly everything else in the series, it actually is quite bizarre. For instance, the Reach, where families like the Tyrells and Hightowers are from, is supposed to be vaguely comparable to France, and yet none of these characters speak with French accents. Similarly, Although there are other cultures in Westeros that are relatively isolated from classic Southern culture, characters from places like the North, the Iron Islands, and even beyond the Wall all speak with an accent that is associated with some form of native English speaker. Even if their accents are varied, nearly every region of Westeros seems to speak with some kind of an English accent, with Dorne being the obvious and notable exception. However, this particular linguistic quirk isn't actually limited to Westeros either. Because even more bizarrely, plenty of white characters who live or have grown up in Essos, like Daenerys and Viserys, still speak the in-universe common tongue with English accents, despite the fact that they didn't really grow up in the Seven Kingdoms. Of course, there are some plausible in-universe explanations for this aspect of their characterizations. Given that so many places in Essos don't speak the common tongue, it is at least fathomable that Viserys' accent when speaking English didn't change. And given that Danny likely learned to speak from people like Viserys or Sir Willem Derry, speaking English in the same accent that they do makes sense. But beyond the exiled Targaryens, a great deal of supporting or minor characters seem to speak with what viewers in the real world would recognize as English accents. Characters as far away as Karth seem to oftentimes speak with accents that are quite similar to the way characters speak in Westeros. Obviously, the most pragmatic and comprehensible explanation for this is simply that the vast majority of the cast is from the UK, and therefore the vast majority of the actors are speaking their lines in their natural accent. However, that explanation seemingly falls apart when it comes to a great deal of the characters that are played by actors of color. Because first of all, the Dornish, who are the only consistently and clearly non-white coded Westerosi characters in the story, all speak with an accent that is pretty much exclusive to people who speak English as a secondary or non-native language. And that is really bizarre. It's baffling firstly because, although the Martells and the Dornish characters in general are portrayed as non-white pseudo-Spanish people, the actors themselves have pretty diverse backgrounds. Pedro Pascal, who plays Oberyn Martell, was born in Chile but moved to America as a child and speaks English with an American accent. Indira Varma, who plays Ilaria Sand, is an English woman of Indian, Swiss, and Italian descent. Alexander Sittig, who plays Doran, was born in Sudan and raised in Britain. And the actresses who play the Sand Snakes are also from a variety of places and come from a variety of ethnic backgrounds, 
which ranges anywhere from a Maori Australian woman with a New Zealander accent to a native of England who is of English and Singaporean Chinese descent. But what is obviously the most noticeable about the Dornish actors in contrast to the performance choices is that firstly, every one of them speaks English on a native speaking level and most of them have natural English accents. And secondly, the vast majority of these vaguely Hispanic coded characters are not played by actors who have any connection to the Hispanosphere whatsoever. So given that there is no in-universe or out-universe reason to explain why all of these characters have Spanish accents, it really begs the question as to what inspired this choice. And obviously, if you start asking the question of why these non-white Dornish characters speak English with a non-native coded accent, then the question sort of becomes, where else does this quirk seem to present itself once again? Because obviously, this isn't necessarily a 100% problem on either end. Not every white character speaks with a native English-speaking accent, and not every non-white character doesn't. However, it is a common enough issue that it still presents a problem on both ends, i.e., a disproportionate number of characters of color seem to speak with some sort of non-native English accent, while a disproportionate number of white characters do, and there doesn't seem to be a consistent in-universe explanation offered as to why. And unfortunately, it seems to be a problem that has transferred from Game of Thrones to House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon very intentionally tried to alleviate the criticisms of racism that were levied towards Game of Thrones by making the Valerians black. But the introduction of Mysaria really illustrated that the unintentional racism seems to still be an issue for the TV adaptations of The World of Ice and Fire. It's actually extremely interesting, comparatively speaking because although Varys does specifically mention possibly going to some effort to erase any signs of a Lysini accent, Varys himself is from Lys, which is the same city that Mysaria is supposed to be from. And sure, as anyone can attest, one city can be home to a variety of accents. But Conleth Hill is a Northern Irish actor whose accent is not the same as the broadly English accent that Varys speaks with and Sonoya Muzuno naturally speaks with an English accent that was obviously changed for her role as Mysaria on House of the Dragon. So these were both intentional decisions, and the actors were clearly directed to speak with these accents without any obvious explanation for why they are so distinct from one another. Mysaria and Varys are both supposed to be from the same city. They're both low-born, and they both seem to move to Westeros sometime around their teenage years or adulthood. Yes, Varys' training as a mummer likely gave him the edge in blending in with the people of Westeros. But again, the issue of white versus non-white characters seems to present itself even with more minor characters from Lys. Doria, a minor character who likely has even more in common with Mysaria than Varys does, is also from Lys, is white, and speaks with an English accent despite seemingly never leaving Essos. And although Game of Thrones altered Salador San's backstory to make him a native of the Summer Islands who moved to Lys, he is also meant to be a Lysini character in the books, and he speaks with a very distinctively not-English accent in the TV series. Again, obviously this character choice cannot be attributed to all of the TV character adaptations of The World of Ice and Fire on either side. Not every white character speaks with an English accent, and not every non-white character speaks with a non-native accent but it is a common enough issue that it's worth asking why. Why do the Dornish speak with non-English accents when they've been in Westeros for hundreds of years, and when nearly every other character and culture on the continent speaks with English accents? Why does the non-white Mysaria speak with her vaguely foreign accent when white characters like Varys and Doria do not? Unfortunately, Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon are not the first or the last shows that seemingly present their characters of color in an accidentally racist way. But the fact that this problem has continued on in House of the Dragon is unfortunate. And given that they're going out of their way to improve representation in the series, the bizarre choice with Mysaria's accent seemingly goes to show exactly why representation on both sides of the camera really matters. But what do you think? Is there an explanation for the bizarre accent differences in the television world of Ice and Fire besides latent racism? Leave your comments and opinions below, and if you're interested in more content like this, like and subscribe.